So the next uh, topic for the tonight's mini debate is the motion that the World Cup of Soccer is more interesting than the Olympics. And arguing in favor of this motion is the Prime Minister, uh, Victor. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Olympics, World Cup of Soccer, I love them both. They are both exciting events I think everyone around the world, or many people, millions, millions, if not billions, are following them. However, when you look at the differences between these two huge events, soccer, World Cup of Soccer, is a dedicated event. It's the most popular sport in the world. It has most countries participating. It's the event, it's a culmination of two years of hundreds and hundreds of matches around the world. And it's all male soccer. It's a single, very dedicated event. There is no fragmentation, there is no confusion. Everyone knows what's happening. It simply doesn't have a match. Olympics, on the other hand, are great. You have Oh, maybe 100 different sports, but it's so fragmented. One day you have swimming in the morning, gymnastics in the afternoon, then you have uh, male gymnastics and female gymnastics. After a week, you lose track of what's happening. Yes, it's great. It's nice to watch it. I give you two examples. Tennis. When you have a tennis event, Wimbledon, it's much more popular, much more in demand than tennis at the Olympics because it becomes part of this mishmash of variety of sports. The same goes for cycling. It's a one day event. How does it compare to Tour de France? Certainly it doesn't. The same comparison applies to soccer and Olympics. Soccer, it's a dedicated, huge event. The world is watching, everyone is participating. And in the end, we have a clear winner. In Olympics, perhaps everyone is a winner, but it's not so attractive. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Prime Minister. And are you against the motion? Please uh, welcome the Leader of the Opposition, Heron Bree. Okay. Um, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I actually feel that the leader of the government made some excellent points for the Olympics. Uh, first of all, I dispute that more countries are involved in soccer than the Olympics. That's not true. And also, the other thing that's not true is that more people are involved. Uh, he said it's an all-male event. Well, that automatically leaves out 50% of the population. Uh, the previous debate notwithstanding. Um, <laughs> all I'm saying is that <laughs> it's pure math. More countries, more events, more controversies, more drama. What other sport can be so interesting that it brings together two words you never in your life you thought you would hear together? Badminton, scandal. And, you know, it's just fantastic. The Olympics are about economic powers. It's about China. It's about the previous USSR. It's about America, all these countries that want to win economically, politically, militarily. Soccer, who wins soccer matches? France, Brazil, you know? It's like the only economies these countries affect are bikini wax and baguettes, that's it. Nobody cares about those. Also, I want to say that Canada has a wonderful Olympic history. The Olympic Games, the Winter Games were such a draw. We had one of the Olympics walking down Vancouver, chugging beer. It reminded me of other things that are illegal, such as Ben Johnson being doped and the, the scandal with the snowboarder being high, and I mean literally high on marijuana. These are wonderful things. Like, <laughs> we are 
are, it's fragmented? No. It's, we are an ADD society. We need things. We need them like right away and then we want to be over with it. That's what's so wonderful about the Olympics. You look at it and you wonder, who's going to win this? Who's going to win that? I'm already bored with it. Move on to the next thing. <laughs> so like I said initially that this is both for men, it's for children, it's for women. You know, you watch an event like swimming and you wonder, is that a man? Is that a child? Is that a woman? Who knows? It's a Chinese person winning the swimming event. Who cares? That's what we need. All I'm saying is more countries, more, more events, more controversies, more drama. It's just pure math, more interesting. Thank you. And for uh, closing remarks, please welcome the Prime Minister. Honorable Leader of the Opposition, this is not a comedy debate. <laughs> this is a serious Jay, debate. Jay. We do not measure interest on the basis of how many scandals there are. I can <laughs> dig up so many scandals from soccer field you would not believe it, uh, but that's not a point. <laughs> you, have, you are talking about scandals. You are bored, so you go to the next event. That's the way you measure interest. That's exactly what I was saying. It's fragmented. You don't know what to watch. You start watching one thing, you are bored. You go to the next thing. You don't know whether it's a man or a woman. You just told me. <laughs> What kind of an interest is it? In soccer, you know exactly what you are watching. You know exactly, yes, it's Spain and Brazil. You know exactly what to expect. The whole world is watching, and you would be surprised. Women are watching as well. Oh. Uh, yes, they are watching as well. They are supporting their husbands. It's an exciting event, the most exciting event the world has ever seen. <laughs> Mr. Prime Minister. And now for the, uh, for the poll, those who are voting in favor of the government, please raise your hand. And those who are voting in favor of the opposition. So the tally is 12 to 11 in favor of the government. The motion is carried. <laughs>